before we get started, we're going to play this short video. Kind of helps explain what yes. we're doing. Yes. Watch okay. the video real quick. It's short. Oh, that's nice. I first met Dr. David oh. back in 2015. Dr. Salinas is my favorite professor because um, he's one of the, the first to I wasn't expecting send me that one of my papers <laughs> four to five times in a row. I remember that first day I knew that she was going to be transformational. She came into my life at a valuable time where I just needed someone to be there that I felt understood. After being in school for five years and not even having a degree, I felt very lost and he took me under his wing right away. And he was one of those professors that he can make something like notice? research interesting. Uh, he was always there for feedback, and I could tell that he was, he was empathetic to, to all the students, including myself. He takes ownership of you being his student, and then he wants you to take pride in your work. My second week of graduate school, my abuelita passed away, and I remember calling Dr. Bloom at 5 in the morning and saying, I can't make it to class. She said, do what you need to do. I believe in you, and we can do this together. Now myself as a teacher at Santa Lucia's High School, I definitely took away a lot of the things that Dr. Salinas talked to us about in class, and I let that be a segue into my classroom. If anybody who knew me 15 years ago knew that I was a professor now, it would be very surprised. And so that first class I took with him, he completely changed my life. As a first generation college student, as just someone who had a lot of goals and aspirations, she was someone who understood that and too is very ambitious herself. And I think my experience would have been less fulfilling a little more lonely. When I got married a year and a half ago, she was there. When I celebrated my birthday last week, she was there. So it's just those small things that you don't think you can get out of, out of a professor, but she's that type of person. Back in 2015, I was going through a divorce and he was available for me. I, I only knew him about two months at that time. And he gave me his personal number. He said, if you ever want to talk about anything, if you have a question, you just want to vent. And that's exactly what, what I did. And he was the only person that, that I actually felt comfortable talking to about it. Thank you, Dr. Salinas, for um, everything that you've done for me, making me a better writer, a better person, and um, having those conversations that, you know, some people are scared to have. Elon, I would like to thank you so much for honestly changing the course of my life. And you knew it first, you said it first, that I was meant to be a teacher. I don't know any other words besides just thankful. You've gone above and beyond, not only for me, but for all of your students. Dr. Floyd, thank you. You helped me finish something that I, oftentimes thought was impossible. Dr. David, I'm, I, I mean, I mean this, you know how I am. I don't trust that, that many people. Um, you just, there's something about you that you just come off to, I mean, for a veteran, a social worker, whatever it is, I just feel like you could connect with any, any population. And you obviously did that. I was able to see that in class, so thank you. Oh, <laughs> you made me cry. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, my eyes are watery and it's hot now. Can I take this off? <laughs> Every day when I get up, I'm like so excited to come to work because I get to be around people like Danielle. I realize that that moment, and I remember it so distinctly, I remember you walking over to me and you had this just exuberance. And I was like, who is this person? And you just you know, you were beaming. What emotions are you feeling right now? The emotion I always feel around students, I feel love. And I think the key ingredient to social work and the key ingredient to teaching is loving who's in front of you. Thank you. I've never had anything like this happen to me before, ever.